Got off the phone with the security clearance people. Apparently, Private Frazier has four credit cards that he opened up, maxed out, and never made a payment on. I need you to have a talk with that soldier, okay? Roger, first sergeant. He's sitting right here. I'll uh, I'll have a talk with him and let you know what's happening. Hey, Frazier. Hey, dude. I just got a call from the first sergeant, man. Do you have four credit cards that you opened up and then you maxed them out and then you've never paid them? Because that's what's coming back on your security clearance. Yes, I have four credit cards that are maxed out. But listen, this is totally not my fault, all right? It is, it is not my fault. What do you mean it's not your fault? You're the one that opened the credit cards and maxed them out and didn't pay. I fail to see how this is anybody else's fault but yours. All right, let me break this down for you. You know, you go apply for a credit card, right? They pull your credit, and then you get your credit limit, and then they assign your interest rate, but they make the decision whether they're going to give you the card or not, right? Yes, I am familiar with the process. Thank you for breaking it down for me. Well, there you go. This is totally not my fault. They're the ones that did the assessment on whether I should get a credit card. They decided that I should get one. It's not my fault that I didn't pay them back. It's their fault for giving it to me. That has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So you're saying it's not your fault for not paying it back. It's their fault for giving it to you. Is that really what your argument is? Now you're getting it. Now you see. Think about it like this. You know me. Would you give me a credit card? No, I most certainly would not.